75 videos, not counting the supplementals. Yeah, we're starting to get get there, huh? Okay, so I've told you about the alert command. I've told you about the file panel command. So it's time to look at yet another one in this series. Little uh, commands that you can use in the terminal and in shell scripts and in any other uh, language that can make a system call that interact with the Haiku uh, system. This one's called Notify. And if you just type that in by itself, it'll give you its help. You don't need a dash dash help at the end of it. So, for basic usage, And there you see it. This is indeed a notification. So, we can now do a couple of things with it. Let's put in a, test, a title. And let's see what happens if we give this a type, right? So just as a reminder, okay, this is no type, but information is assumed by default. Let's change that to important. Okay, you see there's a now a little blue line here. Uh, let's change that to error. And now it's a little red line. Okay, so it's all very well. What else can we do? can change the timeout. Now I don't know what the default timeout is. I think that you can set that in the preferences. Let's see, timeout 10 seconds. Okay, unless you've changed it. You can change the position. I think we've been through this way back when we did the preferences. Okay, uh, 10 seconds is a bit long, so Let's say uh, make it three seconds. One, two, three. Right. So you can specify an app to open. When in the, you click on that notification, you can say uh, a file to open in its default application. Right. Okay, we won't go to that. But the one more interesting thing is you can change the icon. So, we've got this. Now, there are two kinds of icons that are used in Haiku at the moment. 
One is the HVIF, the modern format, which is a vector format. The other is the old BOS icons, which are uh, basically a bitmap format. Now let's see if we can get both of those to work. Alright, here are some HBIF icons. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Firefox, okay. Ah, no, that didn't work. Why did that not work? Ah. Because let's see what is this iconomatic document? Yeah, that should have worked. Uh, let's let's just change. Bean turn data icons. Okay, let's ah uh, let's just there we go. So you can see when you drag this across, it doesn't, uh, it gives it in the format where every space is escaped. But the Notify doesn't like that. It likes its uh, icon to be in a proper quotation. Okay, so let's try that with an old BOS icon. Alright. Uh, let's see. Again, let's change this format and yeah that works so you can ha have this notification set up the way you like it okay maybe that timeout is a bit l too little uh, you can have a notification that says, uh, click here to open style edit with the file, and it'll do it. Uh, you know, and using the preferences, you can have them, the notification show up here or here or wherever you like, really. And so that is yet another way in which on Haiku you can just tap into the operating system uh, from a, the terminal or from a shell script. Thanks for watching.